Hey Bricks and Mortar Retailers, welcome to this week's video and today I'm going to be talking very briefly about the three mistakes that are killing your omni-channel strategy. So actually there were four mistakes. The, the first mistake is many Bricks and Mortar Retailers don't even know what an omni-channel retail strategy is and as a consequence they don't even have a strategy. So that's the first thing you should be sorting out is figuring out what your omni-channel strategy is. Um, but today I'm assuming that you know what an omni-channel strategy is, hopefully, and I'm just going to run through some pitfalls and some really big mistakes that many bricks and mortar retailers make, uh, especially within my client base and the independent retailers, uh, you know who you are. So I'll just dive into it. Um, so the first thing is the first mistake that bricks and mortar retailers make is that they have an inconsistent branding and customer experience. So basically you're not maintaining a consistent brand image and customer experience across all channels. So that's from within your store through to your social media, through your website. Basically this leads to a lot of confusion and a disjointed shopping experience for your customers. So you want to make sure that your branding, messaging and overall experience are consistent across all your channels. So your website, physical store, social media platforms, etc. That's the first mistake. Uh, the second mistake is the lack of integration between online and offline channels. So a lot of retailers, I think because they presume it costs too much money or they haven't really thought about it, they you haven't integrated your online and your offline channels correctly. So for instance, uh, you may be, a lot of retailers do this, they um, advertise something on Instagram or Facebook, like in particular a product. And then when it comes to having it in store, then they don't have any inventory of that product in store. So basically like inventory discrepancies. This also leads across um, another thing when it comes to integration is the lack of customer service or poor customer service. So for instance, you might have uh, somebody that's responding to your Google reviews or to your customers online and they're speaking in a certain manner or tone. And then when they come into your store, they're, they're getting spoken to in another tone. So these all lead to missed sales opportunities. So we want to make sure that we have consistency and integration between our online and offline channels so that we have basically a consistent experience for our clients and customers. So like a unified customer experience. And the third mistake is uh, when it comes to omni creating an omni-channel experience is ignoring the importance of mobile. So a lot of bricks and mortar retailers underestimate the importance of mobile in their omni-channel strategy. So for many of us, we may not have a transactional website and that's okay. What I'm talking about mobile is the fact that you haven't optimized for people using their smartphones. And the most basic thing is making sure that your Google My Business um, profile is properly set up. So making sure that the opening hours are correct, your phone number is correct, making sure that you're constantly updating it. So that's a really basic omni-channel experience that you can harness and um, and implement pretty much straight away. And of course, if you have a website, it's making sure that your website is responsive on mobile, easy to navigate, <clears throat> and your offers are seamless through the off um, through your mobile website and what's happening in store. And that's the same thing with Google My Business, making sure you're advertising the right things through Google My Business and they're corresponding to in store. So there you go. Those are the three mistakes that I, three, three of the major mistakes that I see bricks and mortar retailers making when it comes to an omni-channel retail strategy. But I'd love to know, what are you doing in store? Um, what initiatives are you taking in store to uh, implement your omni-channel strategy? Pop that in the comment section below. Until next week, catch you later.